already explained but because sapphire and the ruby some children had doubts about it so i'll just read this paragraph again and i'll show you what a sapphire is and what a ruby is right sapphire it should not be sapphires i think okay two bright sapphires fine so high above the city on a tall column stood the statue of the happy prince he was gilded means decorated all over with thin leaves of fine gold for as he had two bright sapphires and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt sapphire and ruby so in the next slide children this is a ruby remember i told you that ruby and sapphire these are very very precious stones these are kind of diamonds so ruby is this and i gave you an example also sometimes you must have seen people elderly people they wear these kind of stones on their finger rings right so this is ruby and this is sapphire blue diamond blue stone very precious and costly stone sapphire is blue and ruby is red because yesterday when when i was teaching i thought that there is some doubt in the minds of the children so i should clear it so i added these two pictures today to clear your doubts now remember always this is red this is ruby and this is sapphire is this clear to everyone right now come to come to the slide where we had finished yesterday i had finished this one i shall read it again for you if there is any doubt this is only a recap so that you can understand it so i shall read it for you when i was alive and had a human heart answered the statue the statue was talking to the bird and said when i was alive and had a human heart i did not know what tears were for means because i lived in the palace where sorrow is not allowed to enter my courtiers call the happy prince my courtiers call me the happy prince and happy indeed i was and really i was happy so i lived and so i died and now that i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness of all the miseries of my city what ugliness the prince is talking about are the streets dirty are the houses dirty are the clothes dirty or the city is very ugly no this ugliness not the physical ugliness this ugliness is the sorrows the sufferings the problems the troubles the sadness of the people who are living in this city so that is the ugliness that the prince is talking about so he said that because his position is a uh, physical position is very high now on the top of the city his statue is there so from there he can see all the places all the houses all the people and now he can understand that how much trouble is there among the people of his city though he was a happy prince and now his his heart is not happy he cannot do anything only he can cry that's why you remember when this bird was sleeping near the feet of the statue one by one continuously some drops of water fell on the head of the bird and she thought that sorry he thought that it was raining and was surprised that the sky is clear there is not even a single piece of cloud in the sky and there are stars are visible in the sky so how strange it is that it is raining then the bird realized that the eyes of the prince statue they were filled with tears and the bird felt a lot of pity with the statue uh the statue said and though my heart is made of lead you have to remember children you can be asked questions that what is the heart made of see like now you will be getting only multiple choice questions so i can ask you suppose i'm only giving you an example my question will be what the heart of the prince was made of what the heart of the prince was made of gold silver diamond lead so your answer should be lead you know you should remember it that the heart of the prince's statue was made of 
fled. You should remember, right? So, yet I cannot choose. He says, though my heart is not as soft and as original or as alive as a human heart, but still I feel sorrow in my heart and I have no other choice. I just can weep and nothing else. What? Is he not solid gold? Said this, the bird to himself. He was too polite to make any personal remark. Till this, I have already explained to you yesterday. Now let us come to the next slide. Here, this is the new one. You have not read it. You can keep uh, your book also open. What is the page number in your book for this page? See and open that. I will tell you what is the page number, children. This is perhaps, see, I was waiting for, wait. Mm -hmm. It is page number 29, right? Page number 29, you can open in your books also, and you can see on the screen also. So far away, continued the statue in a low musical vo voice. Low musical voice means a rhythmic way. The statue was speaking in a very musical voice and said as if he was reading some poem. He said, far away, far away is a little street. There is a poor house. How can a prince see the poor house? How can a prince see a little street? Because that statue is on the top of a very high pillar a very high column. So the prince continued, far away, far away in a little street, there is a poor house. One of the windows is open and the window of that poor house was open and through it I can see. The prince is telling that very, very far away there is a small street. In that small street there is a very poor house and one of the window is open in the house and I can see it. I can see through the window that there is a woman. There is a woman seated at a table. A lady is seated at a table. Her face is thin and worn. Thin and worn means she is very weak. She's looking as if her face has shrunken and worn is dried and really uh, uh, sad you can say and she has chorus chorus is c-o-a-r-s-e chorus means and very rough red hands her hands have become red what do you think why her, why her hands have become red because it is very very cold place it is cold time it is cold season it is very cold so her hands have become very very rough and her hands are red and they are pricked by the needle. Pricked means very small, 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 small holes are made or skin is just, uh, skin has been taken out. It has made very rough hole in something with the sharp point of the needle. So when the prince is talking about that her fingers are pricked, so it means that she is a seamstress. What is a seamstress, children? It is a tailor. It means a tailor who stitches from home. Not exactly like a established something means she does something uh, in her house. She stitches the clothes of people at home. So these black are the word meaning. So she has rough and red hands and the fingers are pricked. Pricked means small holes, right? by the needle by the needle for she is a seamstress remember it seamstress is one who stitches clothes for others she is embroidering flowers what is an embroidery children embroidery is when somebody is doing some thread work on a plain cloth or there is a design and some extra thread work is done that is called an embroidery Earlier it used to be a lot. I mean, earlier the people used to do it a lot with their hands. And now it is all machine work, thread work in our clothes. Now also we get in saris and frocks and different color in different dresses. We see 
but these are all machine work but in those days but in olden days people used to do this complete work with their own hands so i will show you one piece of embroidery to make it clear to you so can you see it on my screen you can see one flower is there one butterfly is there some leaves are there so all this is hand work done on a piece of cloth or by somebody right it's not a machine work and in those days you know people used to be very fond of these kind of decorated clothes especially the royal people princes a queen and royal people they would be getting all these kind of works done by some other people so the prince can see this from her from that place where the statue is the prince can see one poor house a poor house and a woman is there seated on a table what is she doing she is embroidering flowers on a satin gown what is satin satin is a very very soft very shiny very fine cloth right very shiny cloth very, only the royal clothes are made of that type of cloth so she is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queen's maids of honor queen's maids of honor actually this is not the culture here in uh, in our india maybe somewhere it is but you know uh, the royal people the princess and the and the queen whenever they are going on any get together or, or or on any social gathering they will also they will they will always be followed by their maids you can call them maids but they are the personal royal attendants of maybe princess or maybe queen right so this lady this tailor or this lady who was doing the embroidery on the cloth she was making a satin gown not only for queen but for her maids also these maids may be one two three four anything even nowadays there is a custom in christianity that whenever a girl is getting married her unmarried friends will go along her maybe 3 4 maybe 5 number of uh, these maids may be different but these girls they are they will accompany the bride and best men if i tell you a best man best man is actually the friend of a groom bride groom uh, right so the groom is followed by and accompanied by his friend so they are the best men and these are the maids of honor right so this lady is making she is uh, make uh, doing this embroidery on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queens maids of honor in the bracket in black color of uh, these letters i have written the word meaning you can see it clearly an unmarried noble woman attending the queen or princess is called maid of honor right to we are at the next court ball what is court ball court is the area of that prince and princess and queens royal area where the ball is the ball is the party dance party which is being organized by on some occasion or just to enjoy themselves that is ball so now these maids of honor are going to accompany the queen along with her on that upcoming the next party dance party in a in a bed in the corner so this was the description that whose dress she was embroidering in a bed so now again the prince comes back to the scene and tells that in a bed in the corner of the room her little boy is laying ill this lady is working and the son is very ill he has very high fever and in a corner of the room he is laying there he has a fever and is asking his mother to give him or oranges so he is he wants some orange to eat he is asking his mother to give him his mother has nothing to give him she is such a poor lady that she has nothing to give him but river water so he is crying 
now the child is crying asking for orange the mother has nothing to give because she has to complete those embroidery also so that she can earn something and later on they can eat something but when the prince sees this condition the princess prince feels very horrible he says he says swallow swallow little swallow again a very poet poetic and a musical voice he says swallow swallow little swallow will you not bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt do you remember i told that the sword of the prince was studded with a ruby ruby is that stone okay i showed you just now the color was red and it is very precious stone red colored diamond and hilt i told hilt is the handle of the sword so there was one very precious and very costly stone was there now the prince asked the bird to take that diamond and give it to that lady my feet are fastened to this pedestal pedestal is the base on which the statue is standing so the statue cannot move it cannot go out anywhere so this statue of the prince is requesting the bird to take out that precious stone very costly stone and to give it to that lady he says my feet are fastened means fixed to this pedestal is base and i cannot move i'll request every one of you to please go through it quickly Once it is completed, please tell me. I'll move on to the next slide. Completed, ma'am. Very good. Completed, ma'am. I'm I'm waiting for others. Okay, here are many. Completed, ma'am. Right, good, good, good. Fine, children. So I shall. If anybody has any doubt, later on also you can revise it, and later on also you can ask me. No problem, right? Come to the next. I am waiting for in Egypt. I am waiting for in Egypt means. they are waiting for me keep on underlining keep on underlining and writing the word meanings i am waited for in egypt the bird says no my friends are waiting there for me i cannot spend much time here says my friends are flying up and down the nile what is n i l e this is the name of a river right south african river ma'am yes yes it is the name of a river so you should underline it and write down my friends are flying up and down the nail is a river and talking to the large lotus flowers the bird is telling that my friends are enjoying they are enjoying the flowers they are enjoying big lotus flowers they are flying over a river and soon they will go to sleep so i also have to go and catch my friends there we all are moving to egypt now let me tell you children as oh sorry um let me tell we yeah, i'll tell you again but i have already informed you that why these birds are moving to egypt because as i said which is the cold place where the winter is approaching they will leave that place and they will go to that place where the most pleasant weather is so these these are migratory birds they migrate from place to place so these are going to egypt now from this place this winter is falling and this in this winter these small birds cannot survive if they live here for long time in such cold they will die so the birds said my all the friends have gone 
and they are flying over the Nile, Nile River and they are enjoying the large lotus flowers, so I also have to go. The prince tasked the bird to stay with him for one night and be his messenger because nobody has ever contacted the prince. I mean, no other thing had ever contact, come in contact like this with the prince. So the prince was having at least a ray of hope. At least somebody is there who can help him in his mission. His mission was to make the people happy. So now the bird is there. So the prince is asking the bird to stay with him for some time. The prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. The boy is so thirsty and the mother is so sad, he said. The prince said, I am really very, very worried. I am very sad to see this house, the mother and the child. The boy is very thirsty and the mother so sad. Why the mother is sad? The boy is thirsty, the boy is ill, the boy is asking something to eat. Mother has to complete her work and mother is so, so sad because she cannot help the child. She cannot give anything to the child to eat. Even there is no water she cannot give. I don't think I like boys, answered the swallow. The bird said, but I don't like the boys. Why? What can be the reason actually in this poem, sorry, uh, in the story, the writer has not given any reason why the bird does not like the boys. But the hidden, what I think and what the other critics have taken out the meaning, because you know, the boys are very naughty boys. When they are good, they are in happy mood, they will roam, roam around and they will sometimes pray for these birds. They will pray means they will kill these birds, they will throw stones, they will trouble the birds. So she says, sorry, this bird he says, swallow says that, no, I don't think I like the boys. I want to go to Egypt. I don't want to stay here. I don't like boys, so I'll not go and help the boy and I will go to my friends to Egypt. But the happy prince looked so sad. But the prince was so sad that the little swallow was sorry. Sorry means was feeling really unhappy. But the happy prince looked so sad that the little bird was sorry. It is very cold here, he said. Who said? The bird said. Bird said, no, but it is really very cold here. Prince said, but he, uh, but he agreed. Who agreed? The bird agreed. The bird agreed to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. Okay, bird said, okay, you are requesting so much and I'm really feeling sorry for you, but I don't like the boys. It's okay, you are requesting me to stay here, so I shall, I shall stay here and I shall be your messenger. The prince was little relaxed and said, thank you, little, thank you, little bird, I'll do that. So children, now you please revise this quickly. Revise it. ये वो वाली है जो मैं लाई थी मेरी ना ऑनलाइन क्लास चल रही है मैं ये फिनिश करके कॉल बैक करूंगी I think all have completed, right? So I shall move to the next slide, children. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The swallow yes, picked out the great ruby, that stone, precious stone, which is very costly and which may be really a big help to that lady. She's very poor. The 
Swallow picked out the ruby, great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town. Over the roofs of the town means there were so many houses and over the houses and the roofs of the houses, the bird flew away. He passed by the cathedral tower. What is cathedral tower? That is a church, right? The tall towers. If you have seen churches, you, will, you must have seen that the pointed tall towers are there in the church. So she flew over the church towers where the white marble angels were sculptured. White marble angels because, you know, the towers are made of white marble and the angels are made on that with sculptured. Sculptured means the person who works on sculptural is he. He, with his tools, makes some figures of angels on those white marbles. So when the bird is flying, it is the description of the towers of the churches that how these beautiful angels were made. So she flew over it. So you can be asked a question in descriptive side that when, uh, what, what places the bird crossed when she was going towards the woman, a poor woman. So she was flying over the roofs of the town. He passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble angels were sculptured. He passed by, means the bird passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing. The palace of the royal people, maybe the prince, king, queens, or whosoever, or maybe the royal guests are there. The bird heard the sound of dancing. People were enjoying themselves there. And there, one beautiful girl came out in that palace. A beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover. These are the things that she checked. I mean, she saw. She came across while flying to the poor woman. I hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball. She said, who said? That beautiful girl was telling her lover, I hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball. State ball, as I told you, there was a ball. Ball is a party, dance party, right? Uh, pair it the dance is done in pairs right a male and a female they dance in ball so she said i have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it she is telling that i have sit, i have given my dress to a lady and she is doing that embroidery on my dress but the seamstress are so lazy but she is blaming that these ladies are really very lazy they do not work actively so she is blaming but that lady at home she is sitting and working even very late when her, even her son is not well next he passed over the river the bird flew over the river and saw the lanterns lanterns are the light post means uh, people have you know they have hung you know these lanterns small small uh, what should I tell? Lenten, do you understand? The kind of lamps, okay? Kind of lamps are there, so they are hanging there. So hanging on the mast of the ship. What is the mast of the ship? Okay, I will show the picture also, but let me explain. The ship, you can imagine a big ship and the big curtains, you know, some clothes, big, big clothes, which, uh, which, help, which help the ship to move as per the direction of the wind. Those are called the masts. So I'll show you the picture tomorrow. So lenters are hanging on the mast of the ship. At last he came to the poor woman's house. At last the bird reaches the poor woman's house and looked in. The boy was tossing. Tossing means the boy was shifting from side to side because was feeling very, very uncomfortable. So the boy was shifting, moving side to side, very uncomfortable physically, tossing feverishly. Feverishly means he was having in very, very high fever on his bed. And the mother had fallen asleep while working. <coughs> she had got so tired that she had fallen asleep. In he hoped. In he hoped means... He jumped inside the house, just hoping. You can imagine, you must have seen the small birds jumping slowly and slowly. That is called hoping. 
so the bird hoped in hoped in means jumped inside the window window or door wherever the place was it she uh, the bird entered and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's thimble thimble is i'll tell you and i'll show you a pic also it's given there in your uh, book you can see on page number 31 this lady has fallen asleep and this one stone ruby is there red color shining and beside that there is one that is a finger cap thimble is a finger cap maybe sometimes made of metal and sometimes it is made of plastic the people who work a lot with needle thread work a lot you know sometimes their fingers get pricked with the points of needle so to protect the finger tips from the points of needle they use this finger caps right so what did the bird do bird came there and capped the precious stone ruby on the table beside me by the side the woman's thimble then he flew gently around the bed and then the bird went then the bird went to the boy the to the bed of the boys where he was there i mean the boy was there on the bed so he went the bird went then he flew gently around the bed fanning the boy's forehead with his wings so what did the bird do he fanned the boy's forehead with his wings he fluttered there for some time so that he could give some wind to the or some air to the boy how cool i feel said the boy the boy felt little comfortable after getting that wind or the fluttering of the bird created kind of little disturbance in the air so that fell on the face of the boy so he felt little comfortable i must be getting better he said okay i feel i am feeling better that's why i feel cool and he sank into the delish, delicious slumber underlying slumber it is sleep so he after getting that he also goes deep down in the sleep he also uh, slept easily and comfortably then the swallow flew back to the prince now after doing this work after doing his uh, this job of the messenger the the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him that what he had done it is curious he remarked but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold now swallow came back to the prince and told the prince what he had done it is he said it is very strange it is very cold but i am feeling very comfortable and warm what is this in this cold why i am feeling comfortable and warm the bird said and the prince said this is the warmth of your good deed because you have done a good work and that's why you are feeling very warm inside which is making you feel comfortable quickly go through it children quickly fine children it hardly one minute is left so i shall stop sharing now and i want talk to you for a second 